Let's leave aside the technical factors for the point in time. Someone else will take care of that. Let's talk about look at the aesthetic part of it. Okay. Now tell me, when you look at this particular song sequence, what is the feeling that comes to your mind? I'm pretty sure that some of you do not understand the language Urdu. It's a mixture of Urdu and Hindi. And Urdu is more pronounced here. So all of you will be able to understand it. But then can you tell me when you see this particular song, when you listen to this song, what is the feeling that comes to your mind? Feeling bad or something. Something bad. Sad. Sad. Very sad. Okay. Two. What? I am looking for a very, very particular word. Can you tell me that word? I am looking for a very, very particular word. One word that I am looking for. Hmm? Guilt. Good. Very close. And I want something more specific. Guilt. You say sad. You say guilt. Sadness, guilt. What else? I want one specific word that defines this entire song. One particular word. Of course, love is there. It's sad love, right? Struggling. Struggling. Repenting. Struggle. One. Yes, sir? Repenting. Repentance. I am looking for the word distance. Distance. It's the distance. The distance is widening. The gap is widening. The protagonist, the distance is wide between the two protagonists and two protagonists. We will not use the word hero, heroine, actor, star, nothing. We will use the word protagonist, character. We will not use the word hero. Those words are non-existent in our classes. Okay? We will talk about protagonists. The two protagonists, the male and the female protagonist, they are moving away from each other. Slowly but gradually into compulsions, into familial compulsions, into social compulsions, into compulsions of any kind for that matter, they are moving apart. They are drifting apart. Okay? That is the fundamental essence of the song. Now let us talk about the technical part of it. Sandipta is there. He can talk about um, um, the cinematography aspect of it. Can you please talk about the cinematography aspect? Please? Right now? Yeah. Can you talk about the, cinemat the cinematography aspect? Because you'll be able to talk about it better than I can. It's the technical part of it and you'll be able to talk about why and how it, is, it was created the way it is. See, this is a black and white movie and although you cannot see pro very properly the tones and other things, but what you can judge first of all is light. What was the main light there? Can have you noticed it? Can you name just what was the main light source? What was the main light source? It has shown on screen. Screen was pretty black, dark. Then one big light has came from where? Someone has opened a door. A person. A person has entered. It is not. Can you see that? One big light is coming huge through. Light was huge light yeah. is coming through door. Have you seen it? And now that patch of light remains throughout the song. And the darkness around it, it goes, it goes. One point of time you can see that our male protagonist, he cannot cross that light anymore. Although he has entered to, through that light only. That light was his back light when he has entered. But he cannot cross. And our female protagonist on the other side of that patch of light. So this part of light, the whole glamour world, it is being represented by that patch of light. And these two protagonists are on the two sides of it. Their emotional journey, emotional gap has oh, Became widened that much that they cannot cross, engulf they them. cannot engulf, they cannot join anymore. Although they have started the journey from that very. They have made this emotional journey, but they cannot make it for, you know physical journey anymore. You know, in order to understand this scene, you've got to see the movie as well. I will show you sometimes this movie. It's called Kagas Ke Poon. It talks about the travels of a director at that point in time, a film director. This is a film about films. We're talking about Cinema Paradise just a few minutes back, right? This is a film about films. And this is, about, this is a film about films back in the 1950s. A successful director, he has achieved everything from scratch. And he falls in love with one of his characters. You know? He's married. He's into an unhappy married life. Okay? He wants to go to that. And you know, this particular film actually talks about the real life of the world. Mm. He had a very troubled life very troubled, right? And that's why 
he died at the age of 39. He was a, he was a drunkard, he was an alcohol, he was a severe alcoholic, okay? he was a gambler. All the vices that you can possibly imagine he was, he was there. He had a very unhappy life. And the person who was there, I mean, the female, female protagonist who was there, her name is Wahida Rahman. Her name, Wahida Rahman. Okay. She's from Hyderabad, by the way. She's from Hyderabad. And she was one of the biggest stars of in cinema at the point in time. So both of them had an actor at the point in time. Okay. He was married, by the way. He was married to one of the most successful singers of that time, called Gita Bhatt. And they were, having an, uh, they, were, they were having a very unhappy married life. And the same thing was shown on screen to Kavis Kifu. You know, one thing I'd like to tell you here is that Kavis Kifu was 100 years ahead of its time. It was 100 years ahead of its time. It talked about an issue that is equally relevant today. It talked about many issues that are equally relevant today. And that's why it was so disturbing that at that point in time what happened was uh, Rajendra Prashad was the president of India at this point in time. I'm sure all of you know Rajendra Prashad. So he was invited to the screening of the, the, the debut screening of the film. He went inside, he felt so agitated that after seeing the movie that he went out without finishing. He couldn't take it. It was so bad, it was so crude, it was so hard hitting that he could not take it. He left the movie. And you have to understand that today with your understanding you might be able to see this movie. We are talking about the 1950s that people had no idea about what filmmaking was, had no idea about movies, had no idea about the meanings of movies for that matter. <coughs> so he felt so agitated that he left the hall without finishing the movie, before finishing the movie. Same thing happened with Piyasa. You know, these are movies that I want to talk about because these are, it is important to understand Piyasa to appreciate movies for that matter. Okay? In that context, I will show you another song sequence, another song sequence. And this is equally <coughs> legendary, you can say. You know? And tell me the issue that it deals with. One single song sequence and it tells you a whole bloody story. Right? I get goosebumps every time I see this song. You know, because this song represents everything quintessentially wrong about this country. Represents everything wrong about this country. And I'll show you this song. And tell me what is the issue, what is the principal issue that it deals with. 